Chairlifts, the unsung heroes of the ski slopes, effortlessly carrying thousands of skiers and snowboarders up the mountain every minute of the ski day. Every skier, while sitting on the chair, looks up at the thick steel cable and wonders, how does that cable carry and move all those heavy chairs up a mountain so fast and so safely? Steel cables might seem like simple strands of metal, but their strength and durability are the result of nearly two centuries of engineering breakthroughs. From their humble beginnings in the mining industry to the high-tech manufacturing processes of today, these cables have evolved to become the backbone of ski resorts worldwide. So, lower that safety bar because we're about to take a ride on the lift to see how engineering and cutting-edge innovation make steel cables for chairlifts. Long before chairlifts, steel cables were an essential part of industry. In 1834, German mining engineer Julius Albert revolutionized safety in mines by inventing the first successful steel wire cable. Unlike the unreliable iron chains of the time, Albert's design used multiple strands woven together, ensuring that if one wire snapped, the others would bear the load. This breakthrough laid the foundation for modern steel cables. Over time, engineers refined the process, improving strength, flexibility, and resistance to wear and tear. By the late 19th century, wire rope systems weren't just lifting loads in mines, they were transmitting power and eventually supporting transportation. Fast forward to 1936 when the Union Pacific Railroad Company built the world's first recreational chairlift for Sun Valley, Idaho. These early single-seater lifts had wooden seats and no safety bars, pretty sketchy by today's standards. By 1954, ski lifts had evolved to fixed-grip two-seater chairs, and today we have high-speed detachable lifts, six-seater chairs, and gondolas that can carry even more passengers. For example, the peak-to-peak -peak gondola in Whistler, Canada uses cables that carry over 80 metric tons and can transport 4,100 people per hour, all thanks to stronger, more advanced steel cables. Making steel cables is no simple task. It's a complex blend of metallurgy, engineering, and precision. It all starts with high carbon steel, chosen for its strength, flexibility, and durability. To protect against rust and corrosion, coatings like zinc or polymer are applied. These coatings help the cable withstand snow, rain, and even salty mountain air. Thick steel rods are stretched into thin wires using a series of dies, ensuring they're strong yet flexible. This process, known as wire drawing, is like squeezing toothpaste from the tube but on a much bigger and more precise scale. Each wire must be the perfect diameter to handle tension and weight. Depending on the final required diameter, the wire may pass through six to 12 dies in succession, gradually reducing its thickness while maintaining its structural integrity. Each die slightly decreases the wire size, allowing for controlled shaping without compromising strength. Once the wires have been drawn to the appropriate thickness, they're grouped into bundles and twisted together to form strands. Picture it like braiding hair, but instead of three strands, you have lots of wires being twisted together. This process ensures that each individual wire shares the overall load, preventing weak points. Stranding must be carefully balanced. If the wires are twisted too tightly, the cable loses flexibility and becomes brittle. If they're too loose, the cable lacks the necessary strength to handle the extreme loads encountered in chairlift operations. Special machines monitor tension and alignment throughout this step, ensuring a uniform structure with equal weight distribution. At the heart of every steel cable is its core, which provides structural integrity and additional strength. Depending on the application, the core may be made of synthetic material, such as plastic or fiber, or an additional layer of steel strands. The core serves as the foundation for the cable, keeping the strands in position and maintaining flexibility under stress. Once the core is in place, the strands are carefully wrapped around it in precise patterns. The configuration of these strands varies depending on the needs of the chairlift system. The right twist ensures that the cable can handle heavy loads without breaking or wearing down too quickly. Some patterns prioritize wear resistance, ensuring the cable can endure repeated friction and movement without deteriorating. Others focus on maximizing tensile strength for greater load capacity. 
Engineers analyze the expected conditions, loads, and environmental factors before determining the optimal pattern to achieve durability and safety. Heat treatment is a crucial step that enhances the physical properties of the cable. The assembled cable is heated to a high temperature and then gradually cooled, a process that involves flexibility and reduces internal stresses. This controlled thermal process prevents the steel from becoming brittle and increases its ability to absorb dynamic loads like the continuous movement of chairlifts carrying skiers up and down the mountain. The result is a cable that remains strong yet pliable, even in extreme weather conditions. The final stage of the manufacturing process involves applying a protective coating to shield the cable from corrosion, moisture and mechanical wear, detect any hidden flaws, ensuring the cable meets international safety standards. Once certified, the cable is ready for installation. Installing a steel cable for a chairlift is a meticulous process. First, a lightweight guide cable is threaded through the lift towers and stations, often using a helicopter for precise placement in mountainous terrain. Once in place, the final steel cable is pulled through using the guide cable. The ends of the cable must be spliced together to create a continuous loop, a highly skilled, manual process where strands are carefully interwoven and pressed together using hydraulic machines. After installation, the cable is tensioned using counterweights or hydraulic tensioners to ensure smooth operation. Routine maintenance involves visual inspections and advanced sensors that monitor wear, tension and temperature to detect any weaknesses before they become safety hazards. Ski resorts must also lubricate and adjust the cable periodically to maintain peak performance throughout the season. Installing a chairlift cable typically takes two to four weeks, but in complex projects or severe weather conditions, it can take up to six weeks to complete. It's always a big deal when a new chairlift opens at a ski resort. Installation tends to be done in the off seasons. Steel cables continue to evolve with advancements in material science. High strength alloys, composite cores, and precision manufacturing techniques make cables stronger, lighter, and more durable than ever. Some even come equipped with built-in sensors that provide real-time health monitoring. Sustainability is also a focus, with manufacturers improving production processes to reduce environmental impact while maintaining safety and performance. As ski resorts grow, steel cable technology will continue to push the boundaries, enabling faster, safer, and more efficient transportation systems. Though often overlooked, steel cables are the backbone of ski resorts. They make skiing and snowboarding accessible to millions, ensuring smooth and safe transportation up the mountain. Without them, modern ski resorts simply wouldn't exist. So, next time you hop on a chairlift, take a moment to appreciate the engineering marvel holding you up. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of steel cables, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes looks at the technology that powers our everyday adventures. Until next time, see you on the slopes.